Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. It is a beautiful January Saturday morning uh, here at the property, and it is, well, I believe it's 37 degrees when I left the house, but uh, it's warming up a little bit. should get up over 40. Uh, this is part two of Woodyard Cleanup, but as I think I said on the last part of uh, part one, this is going to kind of be an ongoing uh, thing, and if we're trying to get that area cleaned up, for a pole barn structure that will ultimately be a equipment storage shelter. Uh, but in the near term, this year when we get the sawmill, hopefully, uh, it will be a temporary house for the sawmill until that guy gets a permanent house. So we're excited to get that. We got that order. That was kind of Christmas present to ourselves. Got that order for the end of the year. And we expect that to be here late February and then we'll get started on that project. So very excited about that. Uh, not quite sure where this video is gonna go with us, but we're gonna start off by uh, fixing the on off switch on the log splitter, which is kind of how we ended the last one, which is a little bit of a bummer uh, that a little four inch piece of plastic kind of ruins the day on that. But we'll get that guy fixed and we'll probably get some more wood uh, cut split stacked uh, in the last video we talked about uh, the one tree uh, that we tipped over and then I, I cut the stump off and it, it went right back in the hole. So I think we'll get the, uh, um, get the skid steer up there and try to work on that guy as well. And we'll see how it goes and how clean we can get that guy. So come along. Thank you for being here. All right, so I'll bring you in uh, closer here in a second, but uh, in a nutshell, it's uh, this on off switch right here that turns uh, whether gas flow can go or, or not. And uh, I, I took this cover off. So that's got, uh, I'll show you when I put it back on, but just a couple bolts and two screws. Um, this was the original piece here. So it had almost this flag style. Uh, the replacement piece I got, you can see that now, it's just a little thinner. I read some reviews on it. Um, to replace the exact piece was going to be like 35 bucks. I found this for $9, I believe, on Amazon. And a couple reviews said it worked just fine. And it may actually work better. Like I said, when I bring it in here closer, this deep flag part was actually hitting pull cord handle. So I'm hoping when we replace this that it'll clear that, but I'll bring you in closer. So as you can see, this is the Kohler Command Pro, uh, nine and a half horsepower, 277 cc. Uh, the number on this guy is CH395. Uh, so it's pretty standard um, Kohler motor they put on this, a county line 30 ton log splitter. And I believe I have to change the angle again so you can see where that guy is at. But that's how it was before. And then once we replace it, we'll, ha we'll have that guy. But yeah, let me try this angle again. So I apologize, I'm really struggling to get the right light in here, but this is where that the switch broke off right here at the end of my index finger. And you can see this little bit of duct tape here was the uh, temporary fix. I had to push that down, which releases the sensor to let the gas flow. So anyway, we're gonna take that apart and get this guy replaced and hopefully get back to work here. got this guy down to this point but I'm about to strip 
if I haven't already both those screws so I just put the uh, call out to my neighbor who's a mechanic um, see if he can help me out so unfortunately we may be uh, stopped again here with this guy for a little bit but we'll keep trying all right so I was packing everything up and I gave it one last try with uh, you know just my pocket pliers and actually got them to go so we may be back in business So not mechanically inclined, so this is a huge win for me. That, that's all we want it to do. Moves over so that guy can make contact. And then it releases in that direction. So I'm going to put it back together and hopefully it don't have any extra bolts or nuts or screws. Moment of truth. We back in business, let's cut some wood. So we're going to continue the wood yard cleanup today and I just want to get these guys that uh, we pushed over, uh, get the smaller stuff uh, on the burn pile, get the firewood size poles, get those over where we've been processing that and then there would be a couple uh, sawmill logs in here as well.
right, so I'm running out of time for today, uh, but pretty happy with the work we got done. So we got some uh, logs up here that'll be processed into firewood. Got the debris put on the fire pile. Got these logs moved over here, so that's a nice pile of uh, salt logs. And in general, it's got some good cleanup done. Got the stumps out of the ground. We talked about that last uh, episode, and I was able to get that big guy out and get him on the fire pit. We moved this pallet over here. This will probably be uh, the next firewood storage. So I'll get this up on uh, CMU blocks and probably build uh, just a shelter out of pallets for that. So this is a couple videos uh, up here in the wood yard just getting cleaned up. Um, I, we're gonna spend the better part of 2023 up in this area of the property. Uh, we've got the cabin, sunset cabin's pretty much done. Uh, with the exception of a couple little projects there but uh, 2023 is going to be up here and the reason we're getting everything cleaned up is the net one of the next things we have um, is an equipment building coming a pole barn structure we'll get into some more details on that later uh, but just getting this area cleaned up and prepped and ready for that uh, as well as future firewood storage and we want to get all our implements um, get all those under roof as well so we'll probably build some storage for those guys but uh that yep that's pretty much it for today so we're gonna wrap it up there appreciate y'all being here and joining us at sunshine acres hope you liked this video if you did please hit the like button leave a comment subscribe tell your mama tell your friends we'll see you on the next one thank you